game's just about to begin. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And now this game has just begun. This is going to be Flash versus J Dong for the Bacchus OSL, and this is going to be game two. The series currently at one zero in favor of Flash, and this will be on the map Fantasy Two. Yeah, and Fantasy Two is a very uh, a very Zerg or um, favored map. I think Zerg is about two one against uh, Terran on this map right now. Yeah, and J Dong is really good as a Zerg player on this map. He's had very nice statistics on this map, and he's pretty much been dominating a lot of people on this map and you can see that Jadong is at the top right as the yellow zerg and flashes down here at the game go on position uh, as the purple Terran so what do you have to say about the position uh, f for both these players well I mean it's a uh, it's a four player map but I mean the position especially these cross positions are very far so if, um, we'll be seeing a fast expansion build from both players and maybe Jadon might even take a third base before his um for his uh, high I yeah. Mean, attack. yeah, right now it looks like Jadong's actually going to get a spawning pool or something. I just saw him moving a drone out really early. So he may be going for a 9 pool. But the positions are fairly far, and I think if he tries to rush, it will be pretty ineffective. And there it goes. That's the 9 pool right there. And I really don't think he's going to be able to do too much damage with a 9 pool. Actually, Jadong here, oh, he's going for that um, 10 drone. So he, I think he's going to go for like a 9 pool. Uh, so you can get those zerglings without the pressure of Flash in case Flash is going 14 CC. A bit of an advantage that I can think on this map for Jadong is that the game go on position, he can go around from the back uh, because the game on go on position is just kind of like that. And it may be a little bit harder for Flash to defend that position. Yeah, um, there are like holes, there's a ramp and there's two ways to get into the main. But uh, Flash is actually going to go barracks first, so I don't think this 9 pool is going to be very effective. Yeah, and Jadong sending out a scouting drone now. Still hasn't gotten his uh, hatchery up, but he's going to be getting it pr pretty soon. So right now it's very standard, and we'll probably see six Zerglings coming out very soon. Uh, it looks like they're already out, and he's going to look to do a little bit of pressure with those. But with the far positions and Flash's opening, I don't think it'll be able to do any damage at all. Yeah, and Flash, I think he saw those Zerglings, so he knows what's going on, and he's going to be able to adjust. But, um, let's see, uh, Flash is pulling some STVs right here. But, I mean, overall, there's no, um, there's no real big damage. You see here that Jadong, I think he's going to, um, he's, he's scouting with that drone, but I don't think there's any damage done by going that, uh, early 9 pool. Yeah, I think it's very safe and good play by Flash, though, just because, uh, he won't be able to do, die just due to some you know kind of lucky fluke and pulling those SCVs was a good idea good micro there by Flash pulling those SCV SCVs back with the uh, mineral trick well it's not really a trick but anyways you can see Flash is just so good managing his economy because he only made the minimal amount of marines he needed he only made two marines so he could get his command center all the more faster yeah and Flash there had really amazing micro with those SCVs I mean any other Terran player would have lost at least one or two SCVs there but he actually pulled back his SCVs in time, which was really amazing in my, in my eyes. Yeah, Academy's coming up right now, and uh, I think he's going to be getting an engineering bay as well fairly soon, obviously. But Jadong, he looked like he was going to expand to the bottom le bottom right. If you can see on the mini-map, it was up scouted by Jadong. I thought he would have expanded there because he kept his drone there, but he just put his third hatchery inside his natural. Yeah, I think uh, because Flash had his SCV in um, Jadong's base, if he didn't put a third hatchery there and Flash saw that there wasn't a gap, he could have actually uh, figured out that his third hatchery was somewhere else and probably attacked it. But, I mean, at the way uh, Jadong is playing right now, it's kind of slow because he's uh, pretty behind because he's a little bit behind because of the nine pool. And the way that Flash is playing, Flash is actually going to go for like the fast uh, because he has the gas going to have um, higher tech earlier on before the spire. So Flash might actually be able to get uh, science vessels before Jadong's Mulus come out. So we'll actually, it'll be interesting to see if Jadong still goes Mulus on this map. That's definitely right, and it's really a, not that good of a position for Jadong right now. You can see he's a little bit worried, putting 
few creep colonies. Doing a good job here getting a scouting zergling in. He's going to be able to see everything that Flash is doing. Uh, right now he's just seeing some standard two barracks. Really nice move there using his zergling in the back to see what's coming up. And he sees the engineering bay coming up. So Flash will be pretty prepared for mutas if they come. It's interesting to see that Flash is actually getting such a fast engineering bay because he knew that uh, Jadong's tech was late. Unless, actually, um, in, in retrospect, I think Flash might have actually gotten his scout killed. And Jadong there um, harassing with these uh, Zerglings really nicely here. Yeah, that one Zergling has actually done quite a lot of damage and it's gotten so much scouting. And really, it's just so important, especially in a game of this caliber, scouting is everything. And you can see the Spires has only just begun. So it's a really delayed tech because of the nine pool, and Flash is pushing out with a small task force of about four marines and a medic and a firebat, and two more re reinforcements coming in. Yeah, and if Jadon doesn't actually, uh, if he doesn't defend against that pretty well, oh, okay, never mind. Flash is pulling back. But I mean, interestingly enough, Flash didn't um, get a uh, factory before his engineering day, so I would have expected something like that to happen. But we see Jadon here actually he has a bunch of uh, speedlings right now. And Flash doesn't have that many units, so if, if Jadon can time his mutilus correctly, he might actually be able to damage um, Flash's economy very um, big if he can just break in with those mutilus and lings. Yeah, the Marines and Medics just engaged those Zerglings right there. Uh, Jadon immediately pulled back, and I'm thinking he may be trying to go for a Ling stab or something just to de delay Flash from pushing out, because right now Jadon is very weak. Two base against two base, and that's never a good position. And Jadong isn't in a good position, as I said. Flash is getting his factory right now. Yeah, and uh, it seems very standard play uh, by Flash here, but it's a little bit modified because of the map. Flash didn't go three barracks directly, so his uh, his unit count in terms of medics and marines is actually uh, lower than um, what it would be if, uh, in, you know, since what we've seen in the previous game. And uh, he hasn't been pumping out of his uh, barracks constantly, so his unit count is definitely a bit lower than what we've seen before. Even so, Flash is looking so much in the advantage. If you see the supply count at the bottom right of the screen, Jadong was at 33. Oh no, he was just saving that for mutas. So he's getting his mutas now. Oh, they are coming out right now. So five mutas, uh, a couple more in the back coming in. Uh, there's already tourists coming up though, so I don't think he's going to be able to be, do too much damage. So... I don't think it was too good of a choice to go Mutas since his tech was so delayed. Well, even so, I mean, Mutas are just very, very imbalanced. No matter how many turrets you put up, you can always kill off SCVs. Yeah, and you can see Jadong, well, they're not really imbalanced, but when you put them in the hands of Jadong, a great player, um, you can think they're imbalanced because they're just so good uh, with Jadong.